Today's video is on the top five most dangerous active volcanoes. Number five, Mount Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius is one of the most well-known volcanoes in the world. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD obliterated the cities of Herculaneum and Pompeii. Since then, the scary volcano has erupted a bunch of times, but none have come close to what happened in 79 AD. The last eruption of Mount Vesuvius happened in 1944 when it killed 26 people. It's often cited as one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world, and it's not because of the amount of lava it has or its frequency of eruption, but it's because there's a population of roughly 3 million people living in the nearby city of Naples, Italy. If it erupts, those 3 million people are gonna have a hard time leaving the area. Number four, Sakurajima. This huge composite volcano was once its own island and is found in Kyushu, Japan, in Kagoshima Prefecture. Volcanic activity occurs fairly often, and the most recent happened on May 2nd, 2017, but was relatively tame. Experts agree that the volcano could have a reasonably major eruption in the next 30 years or so, so it's being watched closely. The volcano itself is classified as a stratovolcano and has a summit with three different peaks, Nakadake, Kiradake, and Minamidake, which is active right now. Kiradake is the highest of the peaks, reaching 3,665 feet above sea level. The first recorded eruption of Sakurajima happened in 963 AD, but the volcano itself is much older than that. It formed 22,000 years ago during a massive eruption in Era Caldera. Since 2009, Sakurajima has experienced a bunch of activity, including eruptions that are a bit scary considering the real possibility of a major eruption sometime soon. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to our channel with notifications on. Number three, Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens is an active volcano located in the United States, about 96 miles south of Seattle and 50 miles northeast of Portland, Oregon. In March of 1980, an earthquake with a magnitude of 4.2 struck the area. A few months later, on May 18th, another destructive earthquake struck. This one started a series of events that would ultimately lead to the worst volcanic eruption in U.S. history. The quake caused the biggest debris avalanche on record. This was followed by the eruption of Mount St. Helens, which spewed out destructive, massive, hot ash gas and lava fragments and flowed at a great speed, flattening the surrounding forests and buildings. The eruption affected a whopping 230 square miles and 11 other surrounding U.S. states saw deposits of ash. The heat generated by the eruption, along with the force of the debris avalanche, caused the snow to melt. Then volcanic mud flows, known as lahars, were created, reaching as far as the Columbia River, which is 50 miles away. 57 people were killed as a result of this massive eruption from Mount St. Helens. Number two, Campi Fligrei. Campi Fligrei, or the Fliglerian Fields, meaning burning fields in English, is a huge area of much volcanic activity. There are 24 craters in this mostly underwater caldera. The scary thing about Campi Fligrei is that it's located near the city of Naples, which also happens to be home to a few million people, making it one of the most densely populated regions in all of Europe. If Campi Friegli erupts, the destruction will be so vast and so sudden that those millions of people in Naples would only be among the first to die. The last time there was any kind of major geographical event at Campi Friegli was in 1538, when it erupted for eight days straight and threw up so much ash, rocks, and lava that it created an entirely new volcano, Monte Nueve, which literally means new mountain in Italian, and stands around 440 feet tall. And yet this eruption is actually considered to be quite small, at least by the standards of supervolcanoes. The Campi Fliegli area has only had two major eruptions in its lifetime, and both were debilitating to the planet. The first one, 200,000 years ago, is widely considered to be the largest volcanic eruption in all of Europe. Even scarier, 40,000 years ago, the second and most recent of the major eruptions occurred, which has been linked to a highly contested scientific report to the extinction of the Neanderthal people.
What's interesting about Campi Fliegri is that it features Brady seismic phenomena that refers to the rising and falling of the Earth's surface. This is caused by underground magma chambers filling and emptying, and is often seen to precede an eruption. These oscillations were experienced before the 1538 eruption, and after five centuries of being completely dormant, they began to happen again about 50 years ago. The ground was rising and falling between four and six inches every year. Then in 1982, the ground rose by 1.1 meters, which happened so suddenly that roads, houses, and even the local hospital were destroyed. In 1983, scientists believed that Campi Fliegli was on the brink of eruption. As a result, the status of the volcano was upgraded to red, the most dangerous level on the warning scale, and 30,000 people were evacuated. Luckily, there was no eruption. Number one, Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier is considered to be America's most dangerous volcano. Standing at 14,400 feet above the sea level, Mount Rainier looms over the cities of Seattle and Tacoma in Washington, the most densely populated region in the Pacific Northwest. The volcano hasn't erupted in over 150 years, but its frequent tremors serve notice that it's very much active. Surprisingly, it's not an eruption of searing lava and ash that scientists fear the most, but a terrifying phenomenon that the eruption could trigger. In the 1950s, geologist Dwight Rocky Crandall found the evidence in fossilized mud deposits along Mount Rainier's watershed valley. It's called lahar, an Indonesian word meaning volcanic mud flow. This devastating phenomenon last happened on Mount Rainier just 500 years ago. The potential for another massive lahar is lurking in Rainier's snowy cap. The volcano contains approximately one cubic mile of glacial ice. An earthquake, heavy rainfall, or even gravity's pull could trigger a lahar, but most begin when hot rocks from an eruption melt snow and ice. Lahars could reach up to 70 miles per hour. Just 30 miles from Mount Rainier, the most endangered are the 5,500 residents of the city of Orte who would have less than 40 minutes before the deluge is upon them. That's why, in the late 1990s, U.S. Geological Survey scientists built a Lahar Early Warning Detection System for Mount Rainier. The system depends on 10 Remotely Located Acoustic Flow Monitors, or AFMs, that are basically electronic ears listening for signs of a Lahar. When it detects a Lahar, the station will increase transmissions every three minutes to emergency responders in 911 centers. The chances that an AFM will give a false alarm are nil. Scientists estimate that in our lifetime, there's about a one in seven chance that a massive lahar sweeps this monitor up in a torrent that devastates the communities surrounding Rainier. But if that one chance plays out, the magnitude of this disaster will no doubt increase as more communities sprout up in the lahar's projected path. Mount Rainier earns a top spot on our list of five most dangerous active volcanoes. Now let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Mauna Loa. Located in Hawaii, Mauna Loa is the world's largest sub-aerial volcano in both mass and volume. Measuring an astonishing 18,000 cubic miles, it is one of the five largest volcanoes that make up the island. It remains an active volcano, although its last eruption was in 1984. This was a disastrous event, but fortunately, there were no fatalities. Eruptions in 1926 and 1950, however, destroyed entire villages. Over the last 170 years, it erupted 33 times so it could go off again any day now. Geologists believe it will take between 500,000 and 1 million years for the volcano to become extinct completely. Manua Loa is a part of the Decade Volcanoes program, meaning that scientists are studying it in order to determine when it would go off next. It's been monitored since 1912. In addition to the four other volcanoes that make up the Hawaiian Islands, it took roughly one million years altogether for the volcanoes to form the islands we know today. Mount Etna. Mount Etna is probably the most well-known of all European volcanoes. It's located on the east coast of Sicily in Italy and covers an area of 459 square miles. Mount Etna is 10,025 feet tall, and it's by far the largest of the three active volcanoes in Italy. It's also one of the world's most active and is in an almost constant state of activity every year, 
It produces enough lava to fill a 180-story skyscraper. The deadliest Etna event happened in 1669, when the eruption killed as many as 200,000 people. A large eruption also occurred in 2002. The interesting thing about this eruption is that it threw up a giant column of ash. It could easily be seen from space, and astronauts in the International Space Station took pictures of the epic event as proof. Thankfully, Etna, in its present form, does little to dispute the surrounding region. Many now see Etna as more of a stunning spectacle when she erupts rather than a threat. Although it's worth remembering that Mount Etna is not dormant and erupts a lot more frequently than 20 years ago. I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.